Uh, many of us are cooking up a storm in preparation for all the eating taking place over the next few days, but it doesn't have to be complicated, hot and heavy to be a festive feast. Now, we've risked the wrath of our technical director by bringing food into the studio. We've got, uh, we've got something really tasty in front of us to show you what can be done. Uh, but we're not just going to show you what's possible, but how to do it. We thought we needed some expert assistance and invited popular chef Jenny Morris to show us what to do. We've sent a crew to her home so we can see Jenny in action in her own kitchen. Uh, Jenny Morris, good morning. Uh, greetings to you and your family. Thank you for Thank you for joining us. Listen, a lot of us uh, will be joining family and maybe you have to bring a dish. And this is something that's nice, simple and fancy for you to try out. Hi, Jen. Both of you, it's so nice to see the two of you together, two of my babies. <laughs> no, we have known you for most of our lives, in our adult lives, actually. You fed us for most of our Absolutely. adult lives. Yeah, as, as far as I understand it, Jenny yeah. Morris has known Annika Absolutely. Larson since Annika was 21. It has me wondering how old Jenny is. But let's move on. Let's move on. How do we, how do we uh, make the no salad? <laughs> how do we make the salad, Jenny? Okay, this is very, very simple. Okay, my darling, you know what's nice is that you can do it at home and just do it at home. But you were saying about that portable feast when you're going to take something to somebody. So, um, and Taps, you know me better than anybody. There's no way that a stone fruit season is going to get past you from me without <laughs> me shoving a nectarine in your mouth. <laughs> I've learned to love them. So, um, I've been feeding you stone fruit. Yes, you have learned to love them indeed. So, we're going to use stone fruit. So, let's, let's hypothetically say we're going to be taking this to somebody. And you want something quick and easy. You can buy some beautiful leaves. Make sure you wash them and dry them. You can buy a couple of punnets of these lovely stone fruit nectarines. And you can even buy cooked chicken, okay? Yeah. And what's going to pull this whole thing together is the salad dressing, which you can make and take with you. So if you're ready for me to like start doing this assembly, I will just hit the ground running. All right, let's hit it. Um, and, and we also um, want to show people just, how quick it can be. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, darling. So I've got some rocket. You can use any leaves that you want, but they must be textured, okay? So you want something that's nice and crunchy. And um, just look at those beautiful, beautiful um, colors in that. And then what I've done with the chicken is I have very definitely cheated. Yeah. Um, and I have <laughs> bought a cooked chicken. It's lovely and moist, but you, <laughs> why can't I? I'm allowed to cheat. I'm single. We all uh, do that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> look at this. So you want nice big pieces, but I don't want you to chop the chicken. It must look sexy. So you want to shred it. Can you see what I'm yeah. doing? Shred it. So you just shred it. Um, if you if you want to cook your own chicken, you can. But this is like pulled pulled chicken. Yeah. Well, we're trying um, to make and it. And then as, we're going to trying to make it as easy as layer. possible. Well, darling, this is, couldn't get easier than this. Trust your mother. She knows best. <laughs> nice. Some of these beautiful stone fruits. Lovely nectarines. Now, there's white ones as well. Um, but I, quite frankly, um, I, I prefer the, the ones with the beautiful rosy cheeks um, and that lovely sort of orange blush or yellow blush. And then we're going to use some of that um, red onion, and this is the dressing. I'm going to show you how to make one, but you've got to layer it, okay? So the dressing goes in between, and then maybe a couple more of these very, very gorgeous leaves. Have a look. And we're going to pile that there, and then some more chicken over the top. Does it not get easier than that, Taps? This is easy peasy, darling, trust me. Mm. Um, and then some more of those, some beautiful spring onions, and is you can literally assemble this at your family's homes. Jen, is this quite cost effective because, I mean, most of us are on austerity measures this year. It's been a tough year. So, I mean, I how know. much are we looking at for a salad like this, would you say? It'd be cheaper to cook your own chicken, right? To be right? perfectly honest with you, I've... It's cheaper to cook your own chicken, but some supermarkets have specials. So literally without my dressing, because that's just using little bits of covered ingredients. Um, I, I bought two chickens and two bags of, of lettuce and a couple of punnets. One punnet um, of nectarines was 200 and something rand. Mm. Now look at this. This is a very big 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 salad so th this is going to feed at least six people very very happily you know they're going to 
be very happy. Um, you don't have to buy two chickens. You can do it with one chicken. You can do it with just one packet of leaves. But I'm greedy. You know, I love butter lettuce. I love textures. Now, we, we so you love... You can use iceberg lettuce. It doesn't have to be anything special. We love how generous you are with that chicken. You know, I hate to perpetuate the stereotype, but I love chicken. Uh, talk to me. <laughs> Uh, talk to me about the... You uh, wanted to eat that Picasso pig. <laughs> yeah, I would eat Picasso, not allow, allow him to paint. Talk to me, uh, talk to me about the, the, the dressing, because you said that's the key. So how do we make the dressing? Okay, so the dressing here, you, you, you don't have to have the wasabi if wasabi is not your sort of flavor of choice. But we have mayonnaise, we have a little bit of sesame oil. We've got some honey, we've got fresh ginger, and you can also put garlic in it. I like garlic, as you know. For me, garlic is just like it's antisocial, antibacterial. <laughs> Who cares? You know, garlic is very, very healthy and very, very good. Um, so, if you, um, and you can even put chili, if you like, instead of um, wasabi. Or you can, you can actually buy, you know, you can actually buy wasabi paste. Um, in, a, in, in a tube, or you can make your own. Now, I love wasabi, because wasabi, unlike chili, you know, chili burns you three times, don't you? A one, a two, and somewhere else. But this only burns once, and it goes up, okay? <laughs> so you can decide how hot do you like it. So I'm going to just add a little bit. Sorry, I've got no filter. Um, you know that. Uh, you know. So here we go. We knew we were risking that by bringing you here. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, that was good. It, 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 it happens. It burns. <laughs> and then I'm going to just cheat, and I'm going to go literally um, into my little machine, like so. I'm going to give it some olive oil. Um, you can use a peanut oil, or you could use sunflower oil, but I really love olive oil. So I'm going to just give it a good old squish What is of that olive machine, oil. Jen? I'm going to take what the ginger. That? Oh, it's just, oh, it's like a, 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 a liquidizer kind of a oh, thing. Okay. It's a little processor. Um, the ginger gives you the deliciousness. I mean, this is what gives it the depth, okay? Honey, runny honey, look at that. If you don't have honey in your house, guess what you can use? Brown sugar. Brown sugar is so good. Nice. I also mm. like sometimes to just put a little bit of soya sauce if you want. Now, this sesame oil is so good. It's so good for your skin, Annika. This is a woman's oil. That is the best oil on earth. Don't tell me that I look like And a the best part bag. I like about it, it is it's... Yeah. <laughs> no, you push it down. No, oh, Jenny's hey, always saying that I'm old. He calls me the OG. <laughs> I'm the old girl. It's like, it's an ongoing thing. Okay, let me tell you. We're not old girls. We're cougars, baby. We're cougars. <laughs> oh, he's so See? Oh. We can still get a Parmesan daddy or a blesser. So you stop your nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done myself say one into? Thing. <laughs> I will say one thing. Yeah, you've just set yourself up, my friend. <laughs> You're lucky you don't live down the road anymore because I'd be beating you. Now, <laughs> the nice thing about this is you can make it the day before and it'll just, it'll just like draw and just be fantastic. And then after it's done, I'll just stir in as much wasabi as I want, okay? There we go. We just switch it on. We make a hell of a noise. Look at that. And it's done. And it's dusted. I'm going to just stir in the wasabi. And I like a lot of wasabi. I like a lot of heat. So I'm going to put all of that in. And right. then a squeezy bottle. You just mix it all up nicely. Look at that. And dare I take a chance. Dare I take a chance and, and taste this on camera. I've got some friends here from... Um, from the Netherlands and from Durbanville, and I want them to taste it on camera. It's going to blow their head off. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure this the Netherlands and Durbanville very, very are on par, <laughs> hey Jen. Oh, but well, they both speak Afrikaans. All right. That's they both all. speak Afrikaans. So that's a quick. I mean, that's quick. Uh, Ten minutes, and you've uh, you've made the dressing. Uh, you've put the yeah. salad in the bowl, and and we're pretty much done. Yes. You're going to Joburg, though. Are yes, we're done. Something? So I'm going to call my two friends in. Where's Ray in Durbanville? Verona. Now, Verona doesn't like hot stuff, but I've got news for her. This is my friend Ray. Hi, Hi guys. From the Netherlands. Hello. Those are my hello. two 
my one baby and my other baby <laughs> who's tapsy and that's verona from durbanville all right so while she you're, eats in afrikaans she eats in english while you're plating there jen we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna plate here as well actually uh, annika larson is, is oh, lurking good. ominously oh. close to the salad i think she's ready to eat <laughs> So, I haven't eaten since yesterday, so I'm not hungry. But Let's see how this goes. The crew were disgusted oh at us. Yes. There you go. Because we weren't going to bring knives and Why? forks because we just like picking at stuff. <laughs> and they think that we were very unhygienic and disgusting humans, but so I brought the knives and forks. I brought the forks. All right. Now the proof so am I. The proof Jenny Morris is in the tasting, so let's see how this the works. Pudding. Let's see how this goes. Why do you spill stuff okay, when Jen is picky about having stuff I in the studio? We might not have jobs after this, but uh, let's see what happens. And you shouldn't take photographs of people Listen, when they're Listen, then I'll be on their well. case. Ah. Okay. <laughs> mm. Try and do it delicately. Especially of girls. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Mm. It's great, Jen. Like so. Mm. It's great mm. as always. Mm -mm. You're right. Yeah, that, really, really good. That wasabi mm. really hits the, the spot, Wasabi Jen. is thank the key. You. Yeah, the wasabi is the key, I mm. think. That was like a big mm. deal, the wasabi. Mm. Anyway, thank you very much, Jenny Morris. We appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate your time and for giving thank us such a, such a simple recipe. Have a wonderful festive season. Enjoy the holiday with your family. Yeah, Jen, we love you so much. And, uh, and we're thinking you. of you this Christmas. I love you too. The giggling gourmet and cougar, Jenny Morris. <laughs> joining us on Newslink. All right.